this is all in the radio mangaluru dear listeners in today's talk in english program now musica supriya will speak on the topic machine translation in indian languages past present and future translation is the mechanism of conveying the meaning of the source language text by the target language text translation has played a huge role in knowledge dissemination and making the information available to a broader spectrum of people in earlier days translators were in high demand to translate the literary works written in foreign language to native languages and to translate the speech of prominent people in public functions or campaigns and to act as an intermediary for exchanging cultural differences and similarities even to this day their significance is invaluable after the invention of internet and online platforms the data generated by humans has been humongous people write their heart out in blogs review products online debate on issues and populate the social media platforms with the data though social media was initially constructed for english as the operating language the native languages have also been prominent in these data this is due to the inclusion of people across the world every language has its own cultural aspect associated with it and people are more than happy to use their mother tongue while conversing or voicing their opinion than any foreign languages in the past decade computers have seen a surge in their resource capabilities with higher configurations and faster speed which has led to faster processing of data a survey by seed scientific platform indicates that every day 2.5 quintillion bytes of data is being generated that is 2.5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 gigabytes of data with the growing popularity of internet of things iot devices it is predicted that this data generation rate will become even greater the insights from this data plays a key role than the size of data machine translation is the task of translating the text in source language into text in target language with the help of a translating system it has a great importance in intelligent systems and is helpful in understanding the text in non native languages and in real life scenarios like traveling to an unknown place languages play a key role in understanding culture of a society massive data is available online in various languages but only the ones who know the language can read them to disseminate the information to a wider range of audience translation helps manual translation can be tedious and time consuming automatic translation in this context is suitable there have been several translation systems that take the sentence in source language as input and output the translated sentence in the target language significant work has been done on english and european languages due to the open access and availability of corpora we also see work being carried out on few indian languages yet the accuracy with respect to agglutinative languages is quite less due to rich morphological aspect while comparing with english the challenging aspect of indian languages is the morphologically rich nature that is the number of inflections of a word is more also in indian languages sandhi and samasa play a key role in combining multiple words to form a new word the vaqua triangle proposed by a french mathematician and computer scientist named bernard vaqua shows three rule based approaches in machine translation known as mt the task of mt can be broadly categorized into rule based statistical example based neural and hybrid the traditional approaches are rule based which makes use of grammar aspects and rules to translate text from source to target under rule based direct translation makes use of a good bilingual dictionary to translate the words individually it does not capture the syntax or semantic aspects of a source and target language in transfer based approach a source language parse is obtained by analyzing the syntactic and semantic aspect of the source text and the source language parse is transformed into target language parse and the output in target language is generated interlingua is an abstract 
knowledge representation that is independent of language this can be used to translate text from source to interlingua and generate output from interlingua the statistical machine translation system makes use of statistical models which derive the parameters by analysis of bilingual text corpora in word based statistical machine translation system the basic unit of translation is a word phrase based translation overcomes this shortcoming of word based translation by translating the entire sequence of word which may be of varying length syntax based translation translate syntactical units in a given sentence than translating word by word the hierarchical phrase based machine translation is combination of syntax and phrase based machine translation in example based machine translation translation happens by analogy it makes use of bilingual dictionary and parallel text at run time to translate and learn the words neural machine translation is a deep learning based approach which makes use of vector representation for words it is simpler than phrase based model and is widely used here recurrent neural network rnns are used which is a class of artificial neural network rnns are derived from feed forward network they use the internal states to process variable length sequence inputs long short term memory is a variant of rnn with feedback connection and can process long sequential data gated recurrent unit is based on rnn but it is better in handling sequential data and is faster with small data set hybrid machine translations are formed by combining rule as well as statistical machine translation methods machine translation systems can never fully replace humans but a study shows that the translations from machines can require lesser human edits than the ones done by only humans indian languages are morphologically rich and highly agglutinative in nature and performing indian language to any other language translation is a tedious task which involves computational and grammatical complexities with respect to indian language scenario we see rule based approaches widely being used rule based approaches are quite suitable for indian languages but consume more time in deducing rules though we have a lot of resources it is not well digitized due to the non availability of these resources in digital format it is difficult to span to statistical and neural approaches several researchers worked on statistical approaches and developed parallel corpora and data sets for indian languages using shared task yet the accuracy was a little low and was not a fully reliable translation coming to the present day scenario ai for bharat initiative has built data sets of several indian languages and english parallel corpora to motivate and encourage more researchers in the field of natural language processing in indian languages Natural language processing NLP is the branch of computer science more specifically the branch of artificial intelligence it is concerned with giving computers the ability to understand text and spoken words in the same way as human beings can machine translation can be considered as part of this NLP task the creation of these parallel corpora has helped several researchers to work on indic languages and solve open ended questions of computational linguistics some common tasks in natural language processing include creation of monolingual corpora creation of parallel transliteration corpora which is text written in another language script like the way we try to write kannada using english script creation of parallel translation corpora checking word similarity by identifying or building data on synonyms word analogy creation of bilingual dictionaries for the purpose of computation wordnet which is a lexical database of semantic relations between the words part of speech tagged corpus paraphrasing of given sentences morphological analyzer which is used to analyze different forms of a word based on case number and gender text summarization which is used to extract the meaning from given long paragraphs apart from these tasks 
There are language specific tasks like sandhi splitter generators and others which pertain to a specific language. Accomplishment of majority of these tasks can benefit the automatic translation systems. Certain tasks mentioned here have been completed for few languages and the results are openly made available in online platform. But most of the Indian languages are considered low resource in terms of online documentation and availability and we have certain languages which are termed extreme low resource. Kannada was considered as a low resource language whereas Tulu is considered as an extreme low resource language due to lack of availability of resources online in its original script. We can also see that government has taken few initiatives to promote local languages by introducing apps with Indian languages and also several funded projects dedicated for the development of language resources. The future looks promising and we can hope for better computational tools being developed for our Indian languages. The translation systems at present are quite okay but do not yield quality translation. You can often come across the names of person being incorrectly translated by Google or Bing translation systems and some sentences lack meaning in the translated text. However, there is a sincere effort from certain Indian institutes towards building of better translation systems. The main disadvantage is that the transliterated text from English is being used and the originality of the language being lost. This might be due to the influence of English in day-to-day -day life. The commercial translation systems make use of neural approaches these days but previously was statistical in nature. They have data set which is different from the one available for research and hence we cannot compare a system developed by us with that of commercial systems. But with the limited resources we have, if we can build powerful systems, it is beneficial to all in knowledge sharing and the work is being carried out by researchers and computational linguists in this regard. Every year, shared tasks and workshops are being organized to build these corpuses for low resource languages, build the tools and debate on the existing work. Community involvement is very essential for successful conduction of these tasks. Association for Computational Linguistics, ACL, conducts conferences and workshops in this direction and motivates several research scholars and students. The application of machine translation is in intelligent systems and places where translations are required. These systems, if implemented at their best, can reduce human effort involved in translation and the generated text in target language only needs to be fine-tuned. Future of machine translation lies in the hands of common people who can talk, write and use their mother tongue to keep the language and its culture alive and the young researchers who can harness the beauty and richness of our languages to get better computational tools for Indian languages and improvise translation. It is a false notion that technology can replace humans. In fact, technology has made our lives simpler, but they ultimately serve the humans. It is necessary to develop technology which can adapt to human nature and understand the meaning of words and perform translation than simply do a word-by-word -word replacement. Going by Professor Noam Chomsky's concept of universal grammar model, where a single model can be used for all languages, some argue that it might not be possible to represent all languages using a single model and others argue that it must be possible. However, it is a debatable concept and only time and effort towards this field can answer this question. It is a dream of the scientist across the world to connect a farmer from one country to that of other through a call and both can have conversation without language barrier. So, a farmer from Karnataka speaking Kannada can hold a conversation with a farmer from Utsberg, Germany speaking German without relying on a human translator. This can happen if the Kannada speech is converted into German in real time 
and it is to the listener on the other end and the other way round this kind of technology does take time to develop but it is a possible future of machine translation systems it is necessary to put efforts in the right direction and develop systems to translate texts from our language to other and spread the knowledge to those who are interested in further exploring the field can look into blogs by nlp scientists and professors who discuss about opportunities and work that they are carrying out and online courses which help in understanding the basics of nlp which is the foundation of machine translation systems dear listeners you have just heard musica supriya speaking on the topic machine translation in indian languages past present and future this talk came to you from the studios of all india radio mangaluru